Hey guys, today I'm gonna make a steak and veggie skillet. So let's get toasting. I was actually gonna make some kebabs with these and cook them on my grill, but it's been raining. So last night I just tried this in my toaster oven in a cast iron skillet that came out good. So that's what I'm doing here. I have some London broil steak. This was $9.99 a pound, $13.29 for this piece of piece of steak. This used to be the cheapest steak you could get. I used to get that for like $1.99 a pound, but it's getting expensive. Meat's getting expensive. So that's uh, lemon broil or top round steak. That's what I'm using. I've got uh, part of a yellow squash right here, part of a zucchini. So I'm going to cut both of those up. And then I've got these mushrooms. These are baby bella mushrooms. I'm just going to cut the rest of those in half. I'm going to cut up a little bit of that red onion and cut up a couple of pieces of this garlic. So let me get that stuff cut up and I'll be back. This 10 inch cast iron skillet fits perfectly in my toaster oven so I'm going to use that. Got all my veggies cut up here. I'm going to get those in there and I'm going to let these cook for a little bit first before I add the steak because I don't want the steak to get overcooked and dried out. So uh, I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil on those and um, season them with some Johnny's seasoned pepper. Um, I'm probably gonna add some salt, but not till the end because the chefs on TV say don't salt your mushrooms until they're done cooking because the salt draws the moisture out of them. So just kind of get all this mixed up and we'll get that into the toaster oven. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I have the oven rack down at the bottom. I'm going to let those cook until they look like they're getting kind of soft. Then I'm going to add the meat. It's been about 15 minutes, so I'm going to check on this here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add the steak now. This looks good. Make just a nice baked veggie dish by itself. I didn't even need all the steak, so. I have enough steak left for another meal here. So I just seasoned this with some salt and Johnny's seasoned pepper. Just kind of get this on the top here. My oven is still set at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll just get that in there and I'll just keep an eye on it until the steak looks cooked through. It's been about five minutes since I added the meat, so let's check on it here. Oh, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna get it out of there. It smells so good. You can really smell that garlic. I add just a little bit of salt now at the end here. That looks so good. It smells so good. Look at all the juice. All those flavors kind of blend in together. A lot easier than making kebabs too. I didn't have to put everything on the skewers. Squash looks like it's nice and tender. Mushrooms. Everything looks good. I get a little bite of that. I get a mushroom. We try that out. That's more cutting and chopping than I normally like to do, but that is really good. Annie the taste test dog showed up. She enjoys her job. Want to try it, Annie? I'll flip you a little piece of steak there. <laughs> How was it? Want another one? There you go. <laughs> I don't know if she even chewed it. Annie approved. <laughs> that came out really good. Heck with making kebabs. That's easier. <laughs> And you could probably use chicken instead of beef if you wanted to. Anyway, I'll write everything in the description. Hope you guys are doing good. Stay safe.